In this video, I'll show you how to automatically synchronize audio and video in Filmora 11. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've got a video and an audio clip right here. So this is more or less the same thing, but I've added some bass and some treble to this audio. So let's just drag and drop them inside the media section here. And if I add this to the timeline, We've got our video and the audio. And if I actually drop this one as well, uh, it's actually available for us right here. You'll notice that the audio levels on these are a little bit elevated. And probably if you listen to this uh, with headphones on, probably you may be able to hear a difference. Now, to automatically synchronize, because we are assuming that you're recording the audio and the video may be uh, you used uh, different equipment. Maybe you had uh, some mic uh, malfunctioned, but you had a backup recording. This is a good way, especially when you have audio and video files out of sync. So you can just highlight your files, right click and click on auto synchronization. Alternatively, you can click on tools and click on auto synchronization. Once you do that, it's going to syncing in pro process. Please wait. And by default, it's going to analyze your MIDI files and realize, hey, there are peaks that are corresponding to each other. So if I zoom in to this particular section, let's zoom in somewhere there. You'll notice that the sections above correspond uh, to what is below. And if we actually play it. Hi and welcome to this video. My name is David. This is an updated video on how to change the aspect ratio of a project from horizontal to vertical over and there is no form of like reverb especially when the audios are crossing each other or you may not think like they're two audio files now once you do that uh, because we've already added the audio that we want we can actually just drop this down uh, and if you play it vice versa in the script storyboard let's dive in and so you'll hear uh, now the more processed audio uh, is going to be available for you. And you can actually now see uh, what uh, you need to see. This is what everything looks like. So if you'd like to add some more edits to your audio, you can just double click on it. And once you do that, you're going to see the different options right available here uh, where you can actually set either you want it to be on the left or the right channels. Uh, you can set the peaks right here. You can fade in, fade out, change the pitch, uh, uh, change the equalizer to the different presets available or create your own uh, customized preset. You can also lower the volume of other clips. If we scroll down, you can do, you can do auto normalization. You can do uh, a normal denoise and uh, change the different sliders from weak to mid to strong. Then you have the option for harm removal and finally wind removal. So especially if you're recording maybe at a place that was windy and maybe uh, the audio did not capture well on one device, you may need to use this, especially if the audio that was the best has some sort of wind in it. But simply put, that is how you can out of sync, out of sync audio and video in Filmora 11. I hope this tutorial is of value to you and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.